Hi guys, welcome back. Sorry if I sound a bit uh, snotty at any point. Uh, my daughter's managed to bring home a cold from nursery. Haven't been ill for a year since we've all been in lockdown. And now I am. <laughs> Only with a small like toddler cold, but still not great. Anywho, um, before we go off to help Guna and his love life, I thought we'd better pop in to speak to Hytham to see what he's got next because there is a quest with him uh, he's had a letter or something so let's see do not stand right on top of him ah here is something for you an odd letter arrived a few days ago signed by one calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ that's right someone you know not by sight but this soldier has intimate knowledge of the order He's the reason I have found them so easily in the cities. The letter says you must travel to Winchester, visit God's house and look for a man in white. Then recite this passage. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. All right. I'll speak with Ranvi. Get a fuller picture of all this. Do you need something? Nope. We don't have 11 medallions, so see ya. Oh, do we have two of these? We don't know, do we? Do we have codex pages? No, we don't. Weird. Okay. I have to go. Then go in peace. Okay. Right, so do we need to speak to Ramvi? Because we've just pledged to go and... Well, maybe we'll just check with her. Speak to Ramvi about Winchester. Oh, but we've already pledged to... Or is that something else? Is that not a pledge then? Well, let's just go and check out what that's all about. Maybe we can do two. <laughs> you know, we we are able to multitask. Sometimes. Coming to the end of this, I think, guys. Though we've still got Asgard to do. I don't know when to best to do that. I'm always thinking, let's finish all of the Order member and then go back to Asgard. But I don't know if that's the right way around. You look well. I don't feel well, but thanks. Oh, I thought you were gonna. I want to see the alliance map. Talk to me about Winchester. We can't pledge because we've already pledged to Gloucester. So, what was all that about then? Maybe we can't do it yet. Maybe I have to finish what I've done here. I have changed my mind. I should go. I'm going to leave that there and just crack on with whatever it is we need to do in Gloucester and then come back and speak to Ranvi and see if he's clicked up on the map. No, you're not going to throw a bone, are you? Okay, well, let's head to the main part and then we can always... I only got two fast travel points there. There is one that I haven't got yet. It's probably the one we need. <laughs> no, my luck. There you are, Gunner. And with a smile I haven't seen in some time. Oi, oi. Eivor, over here. Eivor, thought I smelt you under wind. Gunnar, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Eivor. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunnar. Bavadin da, but my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how did you meet? Tell me about yourself. Uh, how can you? How can we ask her to tell us about herself when we don't understand <laughs> what she's saying? Let's go with one. How did you find a woman in these backwards? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal. But she loves the ugly little thing. Have you a family, Bridget? 
Nath mam a dad cut it even gilly than anon. Couldn't help Drews me. Breaks with man power, the last high priestess and elder man. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Dim Jolch, you two bags of air see how good pass Gillu. That's a very gal, please, Slown. Right, no daylight to waste, then, huh? An Irish ancient Celt. So the Elderman so may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. <laughs> and the merchants here are not unsettled by lurking vikinger. They come from all over to celebrate Sawan. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mine. Sawan? Is that what these cab roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let's bring a few back. Is it Halloween or something? Like the ancient start of Halloween, maybe? I don't know. All Hallow's Eve? I thought that was... Oh, <laughs> wanted to go up here, did we? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know, she's like... Is it Gaelic? I don't know. There is the elder man. Kunan! Oh God, it's a cheap thrandral. A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah, then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be elderman after Kunan. Tevdur, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected... Uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick and the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? Rude. What's your problem? <laughs> Let's go with that. Have I wronged you? I'm here only for the wedding. Where I come from, we do not poison the well of friendship so swiftly. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god ride kings for puppet rulers? Ooh. Do I keep going? He's been a bitch. We brought stability. Watch your tongue. Oh, I want to be a bitch. I'm going to say, watch your tongue. <laughs> I'm here as a friend to Gunnar. I do not like to make enemies when breaking bread, so tread careful, boy. Apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Uh, ah, you <laughs> must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last sowing. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Liar, liar. After, as your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. <laughs> so you've come to meet the family before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. Oh, he must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. Aye, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm, 
God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go, may you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. As you do. Or <laughs> well, shall we then? I wonder if we'll become friends because I save his life, but he's he's being a bit of a douche. So I don't know if I want to. <laughs> Sowen. <laughs> Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elden. Oh. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from <laughs> God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill. But the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around. It lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenhelm your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Lo, in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You're a kinder man than the mask you wear. You won't be rid of me. I'll keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. All right. <laughs> Loot it in front of him, that would be funny. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. Oh, that yeah. sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh, Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I'll not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Teftir. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hare? Teftir, get to safety. Oh. Warthogs. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? <laughs> Close. I thought it was going to be uh, bandits. Hang on, before I speak to him, let's just get the leather or whatever it is. In case we have to run off. We'll start the next bit. Oh, fireflies. Oh, hello, hello, come back, come back. You can catch them. I've caught one. I haven't released it yet. I <laughs> should do. <laughs> You can release them at the settlement. I've got one firefly so far. Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It is good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude, cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester, unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kunan. Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor... I owe you a drink, at least. Later, if you'd have one. Find me at the festivities. I can tell somebody that's doing um, not a bad English accent, but I can tell one that isn't English from a mile off, and that's definitely one. <laughs> He's American or something. It's not bad. I've heard worse. Can I get these fireflies? What do you think? 
Got one. Yeah. Come back, come back. Got it. Woohoo! I don't know why that excited me, but it did. <laughs> right, go and speak to Guna. I mean, I'm not really fulfilling my task, though, am I? Oh, he's coming back now. Okay. <laughs> Right. Go this way then. Three fireflies. Wow. Reaching the dizzying heights. Christ, it would have been faster to walk. I'm going to interrupt something. Eivor, there you are. Here I am. So, what adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful. Accosted by a singular of boar. Odd, but path now usually south. To the Brivo. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight, two of you as a pair. He's fine. I doubt, Tefta. I need a drink. Yeah, let's go with I need a drink. I'm not going to say I doubt him. I mean, he's a douche, but that doesn't mean anything yet. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Nigwiskalan vela spread you on the creatures of the veil. The bag for treats. Glowashester gives their glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given. <laughs> I've only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, praying for sweets and drink. Oh my god, am I getting a Halloween costume? It's <laughs> hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Louvre. Now, let's hooden. Become the Mary Louvre. Oh my god, we're trick or treating. That's amazing. Cake and ale. And Knock on the door, it's the Mary Louvre. Until we leave. I'll keep this covering. Gunner, if no one else is dressed this way, I'll fill your shop with sheep. Trick or treat! What business have you? Oh, the Mary Lewid. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sow in night and the moon is high. Mary Lewid haunts my door. Give me sweets and candy treats, the kind I most adore. The air is chilling and ghosts are spilling all across the misty moor. Let's go with one. Give me sweets and candy treats, the kind I most adore. <laughs> Here then, sweets for the Mari Luid. You've earned it. Uh, that was cheese. Are you playing the role of trickster spirit? Can trickster spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask and some sweet cakes to turn you into a gentle skull. He gave I me am not cheese. going to sing, Gunner. <laughs> this is funny. Uh, should we go this one? Are you ready to rhyme with me? Down the road from my abode, there is an open veil. Hope to God this merry lude doesn't fail. I've been here knocking and a walking, now give me some cake and ale. I've been here knocking and a walking. Now give me cake and ale. I mean, his one was quite short, but I don't know. Hope to God this merry load doesn't fail. Now I like number two. I've been here knocking and a walking. Now give me cake and ale. Brilliant, that is. More mouldy cheese. Is this everything everyone's got, or am I just doing badly? Lads getting into their cups, is this another door we can go to? 
Oh no, it's not. Okay, I thought it was. Eivor, mighty warrior, knocker of doors, victor of caves. How does it feel to pillage what is freely given? A worthy haul, and a tradition worth keeping up. Not for moldy cheesy, ain't. Thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our store so we can go to the party. Have some extra. Oh. <laughs> Look at these cakes. Sweet as honey, Gunnar. You should see this, Gunnar. My cakes. <laughs> oh my god. Her dark eye fell upon the children and. <laughs> Actually, guys, um, I don't know. Should I carry on? What do we think? Hang on a minute. All right, let's do this last bit, and then I'll stop the video because it's a bit weird. One, I'm not sure when to stop it. I hope this is the last bit. Gunner. Damn this shirt! Some piss off back to your shit, Smith. You are either fearless or stupid, boy. To speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers. Winged rats taking what isn't yours. I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Gunner, we are guests here. Let them go. We can hood and more. <laughs> you seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ, I'm tall. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Be burning alive. Are you sure you don't want to stay in Glauches? They know how to have fun. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. Tilukis, Modron's a compass to patch this land. Uh, <laughs> thanks for helping. Will he be okay? Yeah, let's go, thanks. Your aid is welcome. Men drown themselves in ale on Samhain. But I fear for the fragile peace when Tevder becomes elder men. If Dina fall, regardless of poise of poor. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire. But I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenith, my love, go back to the house and bring me the garlic salve. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before your return. I'll give me strength. My mom Modren is known I'm a humor towish Gudran. I'm glad you all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go, Aver. Make merry and try to loosen Tevter's shoulders. Modren. You do not have to save his leg. I'll understand. <laughs> that limb will be fine. But no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. <laughs> do I get to keep the mask? That's hilarious. Okay, guys. Um, <laughs> that was quite a funny little episode. I'll, um, yeah, I'll leave the video there. Stay safe, stay amazing, and I'll see you next time.